welcome to ATG Sports Plus. Our highlights this show, Carmona Endurance wins at the Anubis Hard Circuit. Morticia Velotto wins Season 13 at the SRL Indy Pro Series. Valkyrie takes the win at the Cycling Alpine Challenge. Hello and welcome to ATG Sports Plus. I'm Tuskino Suki. I'm Zach Haiku. At the thrilling FVA GTSE event, Carmona Endurance emerged victorious at the challenging Anubis Hard Circuit, with Grind Endurance and Husaria Racing securing second and third place on the podium, respectively. The qualifiers saw an intense battle among the drivers, with Sigma Endurance's Eli Bennett clinching the pole position, followed closely by Valky Rain of Grind Endurance in second, and Azria Senecan of Carmona Endurance securing the third spot. Rounding out on the top six were Jerry Stroller of TS Endurance in fourth, Pasta Lopez of Usaria Racing in fifth, and Becky Acker representing Team Spirit Racing in sixth. Spectators were treated to a high-octane display of skill and strategy as these talented drivers pushed their machines to the limit in pursuit of glory. Arian Robbins emerged victorious at the Hall of Fame Speedway on Monday night. Concluding Season 13, the SRL Indy Pro Series with an exciting race. Morticia Volota, who started from the pole position and clocked the fastest lap, secured second place while Donovan Mikulski completed the podium in third. The rest of the rankings were as follows. Anakin Topas in fourth, Taylor Aurelio in fifth, Rodog Lagan in sixth, Becky Alker in seventh, Christina Curteau in 8th, James Venus in 9th, Kalpi in 10th, Umbreon Viper in 11th, and Valky Rain in 12th place. Morticia Volota has won Season 13 with 455 championship points. Taylor Alerio in 2nd with 425 championship points. Donovan Mokalski in third with 371 championship points. The FVA Grand Prix 1 2023 A season is set to host the exhilarating United States Grand Prix on March 26th at 11 a.m., taking place at the stunning Sun Beach Street Circuit within the LC Racing Circuits Complex. This high-octane event marks round four of the championship, featuring 65 adrenaline-pumping laps around the challenging seven-corner circuit that is sure to keep both drivers and spectators on the edge of their seats. Fans will be eagerly watching to see if any competitor can break the previous lap record set by the talented Valky Rain during the 2022B season, adding another layer of excitement to this highly anticipated race. The thrilling FEA Grand Prix 2 Round 4 at Sun Beach LC Racing Circuits delivered an electrifying display of high-octane competition. In the first place, Emily Blueberry emerged victorious, with Eli Bennett and Val Kirin securing second and third places, respectively. The second race saw Jesus Crisp seize the top spot on the podium, closely trailed by Nicole Dallas and Candy Tomorrow. As the dust settled, Nicole Dallas took the championship lead with a total of 72 points, followed by Candy Tomorrow at 70 points and Pasta Lopez nipping at their heels with 69 points. Fans eagerly anticipate the next round as the battle for supremacy in the FEA Grand Prix 2 series heats up. Hey, Second Life Wrestling Enthusiasts, get ready for an electrifying week of events featuring some of the finest virtual wrestlers in the world. Here's a sneak peek of what's in store. On Sunday, the Over the Edge Wrestling OEW kicks off with Immortality at 9am, featuring superstar BJ O'Hare and Tank Ventura competing in a Diamond Sands Championship match. Monkeen Dusheen defends his hardcore title against Skillex, while a six-man battle determines the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Also, Lilith takes on Black Hops Bree, and Luca goes against Paul Slater and Lex Umaga. Plus, Gideon Ozul seeks a chance to challenge Vex, and the OEW Women's World Championship features a triple threat match, with Honeypots defending her title against Nina Prater and Mama T. 
Starting at 4 p.m. Second Lifetime on Sunday, Pro Wrestling Grand Prix presents PWGP Dream with matches between Nezra and Big Mama Mama T and Jack Campion vs. Josh Pofo. At 7 p.m. catch United Furry Wrestling, the UFW Frontline at Furzona. Monday brings UFW Unbroken at Furzona beginning at 5 p.m. Tuesday delivers intense clashes starting with Battle Championship Wrestling. Battle Zone at the Old Mill at 3 p.m. followed by the Premier Unplugged in New Haven at 4 p.m. At 6 p.m. Honor Pro Wrestling, Infinity takes place at Evergarden Civic Center featuring Lindsay Lydia's return in an opening match against unknown opponent. Nikiha Deterrent vs. Dagger as Brian Mercury's enforcer. Anubis challenges Solstice for Mark. Instant replay ladder match for main event. Victory vs. Taizo Yamaguchi, Spike Kami Pains, and King Vita for North American Champion. Appearances by Sylvia Knox, Drake Edwards, and Agent Ray. On Wednesday, Valiant Wrestling Flashpoint takes place at The Surge Stadium at 6 p.m. Thursday brings BCW Chaos at the Pemberley Theatre at 4 p.m., followed by Decibel Anthro Wrestling's DAW Crossfade at the Tunnel Music Lounge at 6 p.m. Friday offers a triple header with Digital Championship Wrestling Federation Slam City at 2 p.m., followed by VWE Defiance at the City of Gold Arena at 6 p.m., where Demi goes one-on-one with Karen Wilson, while Niall Nightfire takes on Victor Cassell in King of the Arena qualifying match. Additionally, Rachel Celeste defends her Women National Championship title against Bella Delina, and the Diamond Club faces off against Kirsten Bros in a three-on-three tag match. And finally, don't miss the main event with special world championship contract signing featuring Maxwell Ryan. The night ends with a UFW nightfall in Arizona at 8 p.m. On Saturday, PWGP Risen takes place at the Saitama Sportatorium at 12 p.m., followed by Premier Unplugged at the Unicorn Garden at 1 p.m. At 6 p.m., don't miss Women's Pro Wrestling Federation, the WPWF, Asylum at the Underground Arena. Prepare for a jam-packed week of high-octane wrestling action featuring some of the most skilled virtual wrestlers in Second Life. Don't miss out on any of the events. Professional wrestling enthusiasts had an eventful week filled with an exhilarating matches and memorable moments across various promotions. VWE Friday Night Defiance on March 25th was an action packed with intense matches, backstage drama and interviews. As wrestlers geared up for an upcoming Kingdom Come event, the night kicked off with Yukitama Ryoku defeating the Amazon Natty. National champion Nile Nightfire lost his title to Dominic Carson in a controversial match, while women's world champion Tracy Stollings and Samantha Foxy narrowly won against Lady Death and Rome Whitesong amid tension. Brennan Carson and his brothers attacked Austin Knight, leading to Brackman Wilder stepping in and advancing to King of the Arena. The main event, a 20-minute Iron Woman match between Becky and Brooks Owens, ended in a tie, both fighters advancing to Queen of the Arena. Fans were left eager for the next VWE event. At WPWF Asylum, the first match saw Foxy Beth Ann defeat Mama T with her Vicious Vixens partner Mazram Baxton and mascot Kitty cheering her on at ringside. Mama T didn't hold back, delivering a Bayou beating to Foxy Beth. However, Foxy Beth demonstrated her toughness and managed to turn the tide in her favor with a well-timed momentum shift, securing a 1-2-3 victory. Following the match, a video showed Koi undergoing a grueling workout regime instructed by Ri Kurihara, who continued to torment the alien. The second match featured Cassidy Sink Novella facing off the Wildcat Marzara Baxton, Foxy Beth and Kitty accompanied Marzara while Cassidy was supported by her Cyberneers partner Abigail Katsu. The Sirens Rising Champion, Aaliyah Duffield, watched the match closely, likely keeping an eye on number one contender Cassidy. Despite some distraction, Cassidy managed to secure a pinfall win with a well-timed moonsault plancha. 
In the third match, Katie MF Carter defeated Vena the Kraken Good Puda via countout. Katie's flying strikes gave her the advantage, but Vena demonstrated tenacity in the second half of the match. The fight took an unexpected turn when Chioko appeared and kidnapped Vena's pet octopus, prompting Vena to abandon the match and chase after her. The main event featured a non-title champion versus champion match between Natalie Sonnen, one half of the WPWF Tag Team Championship, and Rena Kadoya, the world champion. The two competitors showed no love lost, exchanging strikes, kicks, holds, and lockups. The action intensified as they brawled outside the ring, taking advantage of the Japanese-style 20-count rule. Rena's tag partner, Maya Aria, intervened with a distraction, allowing Rena to capitalize and secure victory with her finishing move. On March 25th, Valk Rain won the Second Life Cycling Federation Alpine Challenge, with Nikuti in second and Carter 94 in third. The race involved 10 laps of a hill circuit and was a thrilling test of endurance and skill. The riders faced steep climbs and sharp turns, making each lap a new challenge. Congratulations to all finishers for their impressive performances. The event was a great success and a testament to the skill and determination of the riders. Everyone is looking forward to the next race. This has been ATG Sports Plus. Don't forget to keep the ball rolling on the virtual field. (laughs) 